Hello year four, oh it's been such a long time since I've been able to say that. I hope everyone's doing okay at home and staying safe. In this video we're going to be doing some maths, we'll be looking at tenths and hundredths in both the fraction and decimal equivalents. So grab your pencils and grab your books and let's have a go. Square represents one whole. If we divided the square into a hundred equal parts it would look like this. In this image each individual square represents a hundredth. As a fraction, this would look like one hundredth because it is one equal part shaded in out of the whole. And as a decimal, it would look like 0 0.01 because there are zero ones. In order for us to have one one, the whole square would need to be shaded in. Zero tenths, which is ten squares out of a hundred or one tenth. And one hundredth because one square is shaded in out of the whole. And because we also know that 10 multiplied by 10 equals 100, then that means one lot of 10 squares has a value of 10 hundredths or 1 tenth. So these two are equivalent, which means they're the same. And if I were to highlight another 10 squares, we would have 2 tenths. And then the next 10 squares would give us 3 tenths, then 4 tenths, then 5 tenths, all the way until the whole shape has been shaded in and 100 squares are highlighted all together and that would give us one whole which might look something like this now returning to our one tenth as a decimal it would look like 0 0.1 because there are zero ones one tenth that's one block of ten and zero hundredths now we don't really have to put a zero in this place here, but if you would like to use zero as a placeholder to help you, you can do. Now, using your understanding of tenths and hundredths, let's work out what some of these fractions and decimal equivalents might look like. For each set of images, press pause and have a go working out what they are. Okay, here's the first one. Okay, and press play. So for this one here, we have two lots of 10 squares, which is 20 hundredths or two tenths, and one, two, three, four, five, six hundredths. So that would be 26 hundredths. And as decimal, there are zero ones, or a decimal point, there are one, two tenths. So I'm gonna put two here, and we have six individual hundredths. So our decimal is 0 0.26. Let's try another one. Okay, so again press pause and then let's have a go. So press play. We have in this one here, we have one, two, three, four lots of ten. So that would be 40 hundredths which is equivalent, remember, to four tenths and one, two, three hundredths. And we're going to add those two fractions together. We're going to look at these two because they have the same denominator. And 40 hundredths and three hundredths makes 40 three hundredths. Okay, so let's check if we got the decimal equivalence correct as well. So in our ones column here, we have zero ones, or a decimal point, we have one, two, three, four tenths, which is equivalent to 40 hundredths, and one, two, three extra individual hundredths. So that's 0 0.43. And now let's look at a different type of question based on your understanding of tenths and hundredths. And you might find a question like this in your home learning pack as well. And this one uses a part whole model split into two parts. So we have 0 0.6, which is equivalent to 6 tenths or 60 hundredths. And 0 0.04, which is equivalent to 4 hundredths. And for the sake of answering this question, we are going to focus on the hundredths because having the two parts the same makes it easier to add together. And our whole here is empty, so we need to add these two parts to work out what our whole would be. If it helps, you can also visually represent each part like this. And I've also written the two parts together and made sure that they're all aligned in the correct place value. So let's add them together. We have 
one, two, three, four, five, six lots of tenths. So it's going to be 0 0.6. And for our hundredths column, it is one, two, three, four. Adding nothing else from the six tenths there. And our answer would be 0 0.64 or 64 hundredths. Now let's have a go at another one on your own. Here's another part whole model and as we know that part whole models can have more than two parts, this one has three parts. In this question our whole has been given it's 0 0.51 which is equivalent to 51 hundredths and they've also given us two parts so we have 0 0.1 and 0 0.32. Press pause now and try and have a go working out that part there and press play when you're ready to check your answers. Okay, so let's start by converting these two decimals into fractions. So I'm going to start with this one here. 0 0.32 would be 32 hundredths and 0 0.1 would not be one hundredth, remember. It would be one tenth or ten hundredths. And for the sake of this question, again, I'm going to focus only on the hundredths. So I'm going to start by adding these two hundredths together. Ten hundredths add 32 hundredths makes... 42 hundredths and then to work out this final part what I'm going to do is I'm going to count on from 42 hundredths to 51 hundredths you can do that as well or you could have taken away 51 hundredths from 42 hundredths and that would have given us 9 hundredths okay so if you got that correct well done 9 hundredths and now it's your chance to turn it into a decimal there are no ones remember because it's only been 9 out of 100 there are no tenths, as we can see, and there's only nine hundredths, so it would be 0 0.09. Well done if you've got that correct. For more questions and challenges on tenths and hundreds and different fractions and decimals, go on to week five and six of your home learning tasks.